Coral reefs are one of the richest and most diverse ecosystems on the planet. Around the world's oceans, more than a quarter of all biodiversity is associated with coral reefs. Millions of people around the world rely on these ecosystems as a source of food, income and coastline protection. At the heart of these thriving ecosystems lies the symbiotic association between the coral animals and a family of single-celled algae called Symbiodiniaceae. The sugars produced by the photosynthetic symbionts are a major source of nutrition for corals, allowing them to form the vast limestone structures known as reefs. The photosynthetic pigments contained in the symbion cells give healthy corals their yellow or brown coloration. However, rising seawater temperature and other stresses can cause damage to the algal partners and trigger their loss from the coral tissue. This phenomenon is known as coral bleaching because the depletion of brown symbion pigments leaves reef corals appearing as stark white. As a consequence of climate change, increasing episodes of heat stress cause bleaching to occur on a large scale, affecting entire reefs across the globe. These mass bleaching events are a key threat to the survival of coral reefs. But sometimes, bleaching can turn entire reefs appearing incredibly colourful rather than white. In the study, we have collated evidence that these episodes of colourful bleaching are a recurring phenomenon around the globe. We have used a series of laboratory experiments to reveal the mechanism behind these colourful bleaching events. The vibrant coral colours derive from a family of pigments produced by the coral animal itself, rather than by its algal symbionts. These protein pigments belong to the family of the green fluorescent protein and their specific optical properties are responsible for the neon glow of corals that produce them in high amounts. The production of these pigments by the host is regulated by light intensity. When the symbionts with the strongly absorbing photosynthetic pigments are lost from the coral, light levels inside the host tissue increase greatly triggering a strong increase in host pigment production and creating the stunning colour display. In healthy corals, the colourful host pigments protect the symbiotic algae from damage caused by excess light. During bleaching, this protective action could help the algae move back into the coral tissue once the stress episode has passed, promoting a faster recovery. Our data suggests that colourful bleaching is often associated with mild or temporary heat stress episodes, or with other factors, such as nutrient pollution, that can make corals more susceptible to bleaching. In the future, we might be able to use the extreme coloration of corals to assess the nature of bleaching events, and to gauge the potential of the affected reefs to recover.